What confirmation biases impact our impressions of others? Once we form an impression of a target, we tend to resist our own and other people's attempts to change it. This is because, generally speaking, we seek out and pay attention to information that confirms or verifies our beliefs, and we ignore information that contradicts them. This tendency is called the confirmation bias. For instance, we tend to watch the news channels that align with our existing beliefs and skip the channels that don't. The problem is, we don't know much about the other perspectives, and so we risk making poor decisions based on limited information. Part of the reason we do this is to protect our self-esteem. We want to feel good about ourselves and how we see the world. Information that conflicts with our beliefs threatens our self-esteem, causing anxiety. We ignore conflicting information to reduce this anxiety and maintain a positive self-concept. Here are two additional biases that prevent us from changing our first impression of a target. Belief perseverance occurs when we stick to our first impression even when we learn new and contradictory information about them or the situation. One way to reduce this tendency is to ask ourselves why the new information may be true or accurate, why we may need to consider changing our existing belief to be more in line with reality. By taking on the other side's perspective, we reduce the power of the negative first impression we formed about them. Biased experience sampling is our tendency to avoid people who made a bad first impression. The problem is we don't get the chance to collect new information about them, and so that negative impression persists, even though it may be completely inaccurate. Not only do our beliefs play a role, but our expectations also influence the impressions we form of other people. The expectations effect is the tendency to confirm or verify our expectations, to see and hear what we expect to see and hear. Sometimes our expectations about the future lead us to behave in ways that fulfill those expectations. Social psychologists call this the self-fulfilling prophecy. It involves a cycle. First, we develop an impression of someone, and then we behave in ways that are consistent with that impression. A teacher assumes a student is highly intelligent, and therefore they spend more time challenging the student. As a result, the student excels and confirms the teacher's initial impression. At this point, you should be familiar with your social self and how you perceive others' social behavior. In the next lecture, you will examine another bias, stereotypes, and its role in prejudice and discrimination.